Talking, talking with famous people. Wait, Mark, by your metric, though, doesn't that make the god you believe in immoral? Why? Because he has the capability of saving people, but they, he doesn't save them? Well, that's the problem of evil question, and I would say that there's a hierarchy of morals, so the sanctity of free will is something that would supersede those things. What does hierarchy of morals have to do with that? Yeah, if a kid's dying of cancer, but God does nothing about it, what do you mean? Well, the, the free will is more important than life. So it's free will dying of cancer? Yeah. Why? Because but because then he's interfering in the natural course of things. An environment in which children die of cancer is an environment in which people have the free will to cure cancer. What in times where there were no cure for cancer? Well, they, they had the free will to try. Mm -hmm. It sounds kind of bullshit. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like bullshit to me too, but maybe it, it wins the argument. I don't know. I mean, we have to have we have to have biological fragility in order for us to have this is just will, morality, morality anything like that. Belief. What? This is just squirrely shit for justifying a belief. It's fine. It's not it's just... I, it's not, there's nothing squirrely about it at all. God sucks. <laughs> okay, well, God may suck, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, be that as it may... <laughs> Be that as it may is one of my favorite expressions. It's such a great little pack of one syllable words. Be that as it may. Well, madam, be that as it may. <laughs> yeah. I I'd love to talk to sassy ladies by beginning with madam. <laughs> <laughs> Were you guys here? Was it to be that as, as it may. What? Like, what's a def different way of saying that, which would mean the exact same thing? So what? Even if, that, that might... even if that's the case, even oh. if that's the case, is the same thing as be it as that, be that as it may. That's, that's irrelevant. Be it no, as I mean, <laughs> you can also say <laughs> that's irrelevant. But that's not the same thing. Be that as it may means, regardless of the status of that thing. Yeah. Due to the irrelevancy of what you just said, this is actually relevant. Okay, but it just means regardless of the status of the thing you're trying to attribute status to. It doesn't necessarily mean, and it does mean that you're, you're almost surely going to go to an irrelevancy point, but you don't necessarily have to. <laughs> Wait, now I'm now I'm quite curious then. So if people pray and then God does something to help someone, then did he cross the boundary of the hierarchy? That's immoral, that's interference with free will. Prayer doesn't work like that and neither does God. No, but, yeah. no, but I'm saying according to... to interfering. I mean, that's a Christian belief, so you don't believe that though, Mark. I would agree with what Eric just said. So you I don't, don't think that I don't think that's how prayer works. How does, okay, it? how does prayer work? Well, it's not like I can pray for seventy-two virgins. Like there's parameters and and things that have to be met. No, otherwise, no. otherwise no, I'm engaging in, in no, wrong. You made a you made a, a statement that like if he were to cure cancer for a kid, yeah, then it's for a cancer patient. You're praying for interference, which yeah. is. Apparently wrong and immoral, and yeah, God is bad. Praying, well, it depends upon what the inference would be. I don't know. No, that does, that's not how that works. That doesn't make sense. Pray, okay, now listen. First of all, prayer is a behavior of faith, not an argument. What, what, what does that behavior serve? It, it's, it's engaging in a type of cognition that is it's basically a 
a cognitive function. It's like it's, it's kind of like its own cognitive function. It's a recognition of a hierarchy. Is it what hierarchy? We're talking Mark, about purpose. Mark, you're not helping my argument. Uh, yeah, that's, 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 that's what you're saying, though. See, but I don't really it's want Eric. To that argue. is what Eric's saying. No, but I don't want Eric to argue it. I want you to argue it because it's your belief. Eric believes in like. How a, is the hierarchy relevant to anything if it's interfering with free will? The hierarchy is relevant because God's in charge of everything. No, we have free will. Fuck God. Okay, it, it's true that God's not in charge of you or me in the sense that he's not choosing to to render us non-human by controlling our actions. It's you like know? God is mighty one second and then he's useless the other second, depending on what you're trying to argue with the God, 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 God. I don't know why people are so interested in calling God mighty. That's a, a strange <laughs> term. <laughs> <laughs> Mighty hierarchy. It says it in the Bible, okay? I'm not even being facetious. It does say it in the Bible. Okay, I, I just said I'm not sure why people want to use that word mighty. Because it implies like God's up there with like a big shield and like, <laughs> and, like I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm God, motherfucker. <laughs> he doesn't need a shield. He's mighty. Did you know what it was? They had pe that's a word they used to get people to pay taxes to the church. Well, it might be. I mean, all, I mean, when we're talking about God, words are are they're, they can't be used at that level. Neptune, so. Neptune, listen to me, buddy. Yeah, I want you to get down on your knees, and I want you to pray to the Lord. That's what I want you to say to him. This feels God. really blasphemous. Like I might need to go. I want you to pray to the Lord. I want you to say to him, God. Help me to understand the limits of my own reason. Dude, you guys are going to make me terrified that I'm going to get struck by lightning. I need to go. I can't be here. I, I'm not blaspheming. I'm just saying, help me to understand the limits of my own reason such that I can engage in this faith-based behavior without feeling ridiculous. Okay, That's a you good can't, prayer. You can't That's say a good prayer. That's a good prayer. That's Solomon's prayer right there. Okay, but you can't say it in like a tone. You have to say it seriously every time. Okay, well, I, I, I am, I'm completely serious. The uh, tone doesn't matter. No, this I'm saying it feels blasphemous if he says it in a joking tone. Okay, it might for you. God, God's like, oh, you said it in a funny voice, man. Do you know? <laughs> yeah, but talking, talking. God's way of talking, God's will. <clears throat> I just right. have weird OCD stuff about it. I know it doesn't mean, but I just think it's a good prayer to say this because it's if you think about it, it really is. It's layered. You simply say, "God, help me to understand the limits of my own reason, such that I might engage in this faith-based behavior without feeling ridiculous." God, <laughs> uh, tell me it's okay to be dumb. That's not what that says at all. <laughs> you're going to the blaspheme zone. <laughs> no, it's saying help me help me supersede the realm of reason. Yeah. Well said. That? Look, just because you're a TI Dom and you can't imagine a world beyond TI, um, <laughs> there is one, okay? There are other ways to substantiate things in life besides besides parsing out wrongness. <laughs> There are other ways of substantiating things than figure out what's right. No, then parsing out what's wrong. That's don't don't straw man me. You didn't even straw man me. You just flat out turned the thing I said into something else. <laughs> I want to get a dog. So you're saying you want a cat? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, you can see that, I mean, your reason is dependent upon what is good. It, it, is, it is dependent upon it. You have to say, I ought to seek truth. You truth are, is good. When you're saying good, that's like just using a word. It doesn't necessarily mean anything. Just to determine what is good. It does mean things, though, Susie. But it doesn't mean truth, though. That's where Mark keeps getting to run a foul of things. He thinks it means truth. Mark says truth a lot. Truth and good are the same. Uh, no, they're not. Why not use words to mean something? 
Good is a symbol of something something real. Truth is a status we afford to things for the purposes of argumentation. But like, if you're just going to speak in symbols, you might as well just tattoo it on your face. Like, this symbol means good. This oh, well, thank you, Susie. What I appreciate is you're speaking in non-symbols right now. That is so refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> I love the <laughs> kind of sound to it. It makes it really clear to me. <laughs> Like a drowning child. No, no, you're speaking is, you're, in symbols too. Your words are symbols. You're using language right now, so you're speaking yeah, in symbols. I use language that means something. So it's a symbol that means something. Oh! See, no, Mark, you're not getting it. So yeah. Susie, like, oh, Susie okay. likes her symbols better. Okay, that's what it is. Symbols are better, Eric. You see? You see how much she likes them better? Can you feel her emotional attachment to her symbols? <laughs> <laughs> Stroke it with your finger. Her, her, her words are more uh, effective. Obviously. I mean, look at us. We're scrambling to account for them right now. Let's <laughs> <laughs> uh, do stuff. I, I actually do like to think about what are good prayers. I don't necessarily say them very often, but I do think them. I do like to think about this is a good prayer because it doesn't. I, I was. I've always been careful about. No, but Eric, can, how can you define what's a good prayer? I'm telling you right now. No, but I've always. You, you, you should, why don't you let me define it and then critique it? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I, I have always been careful not to ask for shit that isn't native to me. So it's like, I can ask for guidance about my shit. I can ask for um, optimization about me, or I can ask for clarity or various things like that. Or, um, you know, ask God for a sign is always a good idea. God, give me a sign if you want me to eat these nuches. So they work because it's something that will naturally just occur or something that you will just make meaning of? Well, I'm just saying a good prayer is subject to re principle of restraint, just like a good action is. It, it, there's not any obligation to pray for anything or blah, 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 but there's a sort of an obligation not to say, God, please let me win the lottery because I could really use the 70 million bucks, you know? How is that work? And then you're just being, you're just, you're, you're knowingly and willfully ignoring the business at hand. Either way, like trying to use God as like, fair with my like shit. Well, I'm just saying that you know that your spiritual problems are not going to be solved by winning the lottery. So it's like going to the shrink and spending the whole time talking about how your elbow's sore and your shoulder's a little bit sore. It's like, that's the wrong kind of doctor. It might be correlated. Hmm. Yeah, so much my ass in your mom's face. I was like, hey, I have OCD causing me to do this stupid shit, which makes my arm hurt. Okay, well, yes, Susie. <laughs> but even then, he wouldn't say, like, I don't know, I think maybe there's a bit of a strain here, or maybe, like, the, the tendon is a little tender. We've got tender tendon, tendon syndrome. <laughs> and the shrink will say, there's clearly something wrong with your head. <laughs> Hi, doctor, I believe I've got tender tendon syndrome. All will, my tendons get tender when I stretch them too much. I will say the proper prayer should be your will be done, not mine. Like that's like the basis of every prayer is that that my <laughs> will be in alignment with what I ought to do. What's the point of praying if it's going to be his will be done? God can do whatever he wants to do anyway. No, but the, the point of it is it's the only alternative in life to... 
to a notion of self that's patently false. Like, you're either capable of rendering all judgments and wisdoms independently as an agent, despite the blindness towards half of reality that's implicit in every person. Um, the notion that you could rely on your on ontological processes without a link to an external purpose, it just doesn't work ontologically. Why? Well, because it's possible to presume an external purposer. It's probable it's possible to understand <laughs> one's existence you. teleologically. Yeah, but see, you, you don't you don't need that necessarily. But it's but it's it's possible to be that though, right? I'm not saying I'm not making the argument you need it right now. I'm saying it's possible to do that. In other words, it's possible to include an external purposed mm, yeah, agency. Yeah, that, that, yeah, but that's that's the whole choice thing. But my my point is, you've got two choices: either experience a life that doesn't include that level of analysis. Because it's too hard. That's or, unfair. Or include it. That's why unfair. is it unfair? Uh, why is it unfair? You don't need to attribute it to an almighty God. You you keep mistaking arguments for, um, for doorways. It, it's like the thing's a doorway. It's not an argument. What do you mean by doorway? I'm saying if we insist on making arguments about it, we can't access an understanding of self that is framed through an external purposer. External purposer. Right, that we are purposed, that we have a positive obligation as well as a negative. So, you know, one of the things that Mark keeps hammering is, no, we do have a positive obligation. I'm not saying we don't. I'm saying those are only accessible if you understand uh, the the leveraging power of faith-based behaviors and utilize mm. them to leverage the effective outcome. Well, that's behavior. I guess everyone do that to some, some extent, even if they believe or not. Yeah, you different. know, people, people say atheists aren't, aren't can't have morals. Bullshit. Of course they can, but they only have half the morals. They've got the negative part. It's very possible for atheists to not be wicked, and to be more ethical than people who believe in God for sure. Well, what, well that, what's the part you mean? They don't have them. They don't have any understanding of themselves as having a destiny or positive obligation. If That's they have a, true. it is true. What they have is a bunch of half-ass shit to justify how their non-destiny gives them some sort of directionality. To believe you have a destiny is to believe in God. No, God doesn't have to have anything to do with that. Uh, okay, well, where does your destiny come from? It's a uh, subjective perception. Then it's not your destiny. Uh... That's an assertion based on not much. You're welcome to claim that destiny itself is a meaningless expression because it implies there's some objective identity to a deter an undetermined but, future but self or something. What, what does destiny have to do with religion necessarily? It doesn't have to do have, it have anything to do with that. <sighs> what I'm saying is. If we want there to accept, that, if you want to accept that you have a destiny, an actual destiny, in other words, that you are, that there is a moral, a, a positive moral obligation to fulfill, that is particular to you, yeah, and that Eric, is existent you, outside of you somehow. Yeah, but Eric, that, you don't need religion for meaning making. Okay, I, nobody's talking about religion. 
Okay. I'm talking about but, God. Yeah, but you're calling it God. Okay, what I'm saying is I agree. I agree God. with I agree that God God behaviors don't work on a TI argumentation metric. So yeah, if you're asking why- me to defend God behaviors on a TI argumentation metric, because they're what they are, and because that's where they get their value, that that, that means they they don't parse down there. So what we have to accept then is either we can continue to reject it because it doesn't parse down, because no, of course the, things- the thing the thing I think you're doing now, which is unfair, is that you're defining that as God. Defining Everything what is God? That. I'm not defining God. I'm defi- I'm saying the purpose of the behavior is to unlock certain kinds of ontological awareness. And that awareness is not possible without religion. No, I'm saying the purpose of the faith-based behavior is to unlock this thing. So you can use it as that. You can use it to do that. You could use it to be a foil to argumentation as well. You could do both. But what I'm saying is if you only use it to be a foil to argumentation, then you're not using it to unlock this other thing that's available. What do you mean by foil to un- argumentations? I mean, you can you can choose to to take God as a term that's referencing something ineffable or un unboxable. Um, you're basically saying undescribable by words is blah 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 blah, and then so you know then you're describing it by words. So. Uh, <laughs> What you're saying now is, <laughs> what I'm saying is, it, that's why we don't bother talking about God. Talk about the behavior instead. Don't assume that the behavior actually infers that you believe things that might be apparently predicated on the behavior, or vice versa. I mean, the behavior might be apparently predicated on the beliefs. Behaviors don't have to follow beliefs; they can precede them. Yes. I think the problem with with the whole God thing is that you talk about it as if that's the right way of thinking when it's not necessarily the case. That's not how I talk about it. I talk about it as an available option you're probably not choosing to take advantage of. Yeah, and you're saying that's the best option. I, I didn't say that. It may be inferred from what I'm saying, but I didn't say that. Might be inferred from what you were saying, yes. It would probably be wisely inferred from what I'm saying, but it's not a claim I have to substantiate because I didn't make it. Cha. Hi, friends. Post Eric here, and I'm here with Pipi Capio, the kitty cat, to tell you... I will type you. That's right. I will type you face to face in a conversation lasting one full hour or longer. All you have to do is pay me sixty dollars. Fifty if you use the discount method by friending me on Facebook and sending me a message, I'll send you a PayPal address directly. If you want to go through the store at sixty dollars, twfpcollectibles.com slash services. And uh, I can tell you this, you also get a free copy of my book, which is called Citing Tables and Charts About Human Personality. Talking, talking with famous people. I, l- I really like what you said about the um, positive obligations versus negative ones. That was good. I'm going to think about that for a very long time. Thank you. I appreciate your positive regard.